Have you ever wondered how the vast expanse of the Arctic Ocean transforms into a shimmering, icy wilderness each winter? The freezing process of the Arctic Ocean is a fascinating dance of nature, orchestrated by a symphony of factors including temperature, salinity, and the movement of ocean currents. Let's dive into this icy mystery. The curtain rises with a drop in temperature. During the winter months, the Arctic region experiences a significant decrease in air temperature. This drop in temperature sets the stage for the freezing process to begin, starting at the very surface of the ocean. Here, the top layer of water cools down, chilled by the frigid air above. As this surface water temperature decreases, it eventually hits its freezing point around negative 1.8 degrees Celsius or 28.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Ice crystals start to form, creating a thin glassy layer known as grease ice or nilus. The drama continues as the cooling persists. The delicate layer of grease ice thickens and consolidates under the relentless cold. This consolidated ice, now known as young ice or first year ice, is still relatively thin, usually measuring less than one meter thick, but it plays a critical role. Once formed, this young ice acts as an insulator, reducing the heat exchange between the warmer ocean water below and the freezing air above. This insulating effect allows the ice to keep growing and thickening, even as the air temperature plummets further. In time, the first year ice endures through the summer, maturing into multi-year ice. This older, wiser ice is thicker and more resilient than its younger counterpart. It can survive multiple freeze-thaw cycles and plays a crucial role in maintaining the Arctic ice pack. Yet, the freezing process isn't solely a tale of temperature. Salinity, or the salt content of the water, also has a starring role. The freezing point of seawater is slightly lower than that of freshwater due to the salt content. This makes the freezing process in the Arctic more complex, as the ocean has variable salinity levels influenced by factors such as river runoff and melting ice. However, it's important to remember that not all parts of the Arctic Ocean freeze completely. The freezing extent varies seasonally, and even during the winter, some areas may remain ice-free. This could be due to the movement of ocean currents, the presence of warmer water masses, or other climatic factors. The Arctic sea ice cover is a dynamic entity, expanding and contracting with the seasons, reaching its maximum extent during the winter months and shrinking during the summer. So, the next time you see images of the Arctic's icy expanse, remember the intricate ballet of factors that lead to its formation. The freezing process of the Arctic Ocean is a beautiful, complex phenomenon, a testament to the power and subtlety of nature's processes.